I'm helping a few masons do a different type of stonework. I call this an early American type of stonework. And I, I helped with these piers and some more. So I'm going to show you how we do it, a little different thing. And I'm also going to put it on my foundation vi uh, video because uh, it's the same way they used to build the old foundations back in the 17 and 1800s. So here we go. Now today I got invited down here to help out doing what I call an early American stone job. I'll show you what I'm working on. Yesterday I was doing these pillars, pillars for a doorway. See the doorway is going to go like this and I'm building these pillars and this is a this was an old farmhouse from the 1700s that's the fireplace and the place caved in and they tore it down and uh, this is the fireplace that's left and they're gonna make a little courtyard out of it so we're just matching everything but let's look at the fireplace see it was nothing to put uh, wood for the mantle over the fireplace and make it big for cooking can't really see up there but when they did these fireplaces we're going to go around the other side and in the 1700s when they built these fireplaces they also had a fireplace on the other side and if they had a right there and if they did they put the fireplace in the middle of the house because that's what kept it warm and if they had it upstairs, they would even put a little fireplace upstairs. But this is the way they did it in the 1700s. Of course, this has probably been redone three times. But they're just building these walls to match. This is the stone we're using. It's uh, basically off of, out of the farmer's fields on the property. So we're using what we reuse or had to fix up when we can't. We patch it up and we just kind of straighten it out like that. That's all. See, you don't like to cut all the time. You gotta get your best in since it's seamed and use the best part of it you can. That's it. This is the cement we're using. It's white cement with regular sand. And that's about how dry it is right there. That's about as wet as they want. Otherwise, it's almost like sand. But it's got moisture in it, and that's why it hardens. Now we're doing the top of this pier. This is the top of the pier left over from yesterday. So this is that. They use it call it dry pack cement. We're gonna put it in like this. And then we're going to get our stone right on top. That's how we do it. Our corner. I picked these out before. We get it like that. Put these in like this. And then. And you just pack them like this, using a tool. Or you could use your finger, whatever you want to do. What we're doing is the outside first. You build the outside first, you get all your stones in, put it over here. Then you pre pick these stones so you get the idea. You could use your hand, whatever you want to do, get them all in. And then, when you're all done with that, you get the junk stones and you fill in the middle. Get the junk stones and you fill in the middle just like that. 
then you fill it solid. That's the old school way of early American stone laying when you see these old farmhouses and uh, the old buildings. It was always from stone. This came from the farmer's field, this stone. And we'd be plowing it up, they'd save the good stuff for the houses and then they'd use all the junk for uh, the farmer's walls. That's it, all we do is continue. Uh, muy contento. Muy contento. Muy contento. And I'm going to put it right here. And then I just, like every other stone job, put my corner right in with the line. This is a tough stone to work with because it's not square and you can't really cut it. It'll show you that. And then we just pack around here like this. That's it. Now, just a little while later, this is the hard, hard uh, pack I call it, or however they mix. Every mason does it different. Every job you go on, someone got their own way to do it. This is how you do. You don't even use a sponge in this job. They might come and ask it later, but that's it. That's all you do. You want just get the no. See, they're asking me if I want a sponge. No, I don't want no sponge. You want to do it the way you guys do it. That's it. That's how we break it all out. Yeah. Now I'm going to make a point here, right here. If you look down there, you can see them lines. So I follow them lines all the way up. Now I'm going to take them down to get to my top. Now we're doing the wall right here. And we got two, uh, two boards here for our lines which go down the wall. And it's the old school way of doing it. Just like this. The same way they did it back in early America, and then we're just some in the top like that. So that's it. Now we're doing a straight wall. And when you're working on a straight wall like this, uh, you got two lines. You see the two lines on both sides. One line here, got the shadows. The other line is way up here on top because he's close to the top. Uh, and then just like. When I did a uh, dry stone wall, right cemented, he's doing the same thing, except he's using a dry pack cement. Go ahead, explain that dry pack cement the way you guys do it. Dry pack cement is cement with just not much water in it, enough to make it like this. Yeah. You see it, where it binds together? Right. But when you pack it, you have to put it in there, you have to pack it with a, with a slicker, you know what I mean? Like right. in between all the joints. You have to pack it real good, otherwise it won't get real hard. And what's the it has to be packed. That's the, the way they used to do it years ago. And what's the, the what benefit the, to that is the stone stays clean. Right. And we have to match the fireplaces, which is the way they did it. Right. Years back. So, so what what's the mix? What actually the mix is one bucket of Portland to two buckets of sand. Right. No more. And a very strong mix. It doesn't yeah. check, it doesn't crack, and it lasts. Not as good as when it's wet, but it lasts. Yeah, and it's a 10 degree difference between where I'm working now and where uh, Pennsylvania, where I live. So it's a big difference in weather. Everybody does it different. And uh, I just drove by a farmhouse on the way home and I'm gonna show you how we're doing it exactly the same way that it was done in the 1700s. Here's an old building that burnt down, but I just wanna show you, it's built exactly the same way with the stone, same exact way. So that's old school. That's basically old school way of uh, doing stone work. Oh, okay. How are you? Sorry, so I definitely need to come back. Okay, I can pull myself. Uh, even when we're doing it like I did on my patio video, same thing. When you're doing 
dry tack, you know. You don't use a sponge. Once it's tacked down real good in there, you just brush it off. Like that. Then you get your steel brush. Brush it off like that. 